Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 12 of Space Shooter. In the last episode, I said that we would make some new weapons for our ship to be able to battle the enemies with. <coughs> I asked you whether you wanted to download some of the weapon code or type it along. But it seems that nobody actually voted on the vote. So, I'm just gonna do a bit of combination on both. There's one weapon that is really complicated and I will simply leave it for download. And so it's one of the new game objects we have to add for the bombs. So, let's get coded. In your space shooter project, create a new package and call it weapons. In this package, we'll be adding all the weapons um, that the uh, little player would use to battle the enemies. In it, we want to create something called a weapon. And it actually is going to be an interface. So, yeah. If you do not know what an interface is, it is simply a class with no implement implementation of the code. It just provides the methods that the things that extends it, which is actually implements it, must have. And they have to provide the implementation for it. So, in this class we need a attack we need an attack method we want every weapon to have an attack method we want every weapon to have a pick method and we want every method to ha uh, w every weapon to be able to render itself And import graphics. So, and also want it to imp render itself, and we need a graphics to do that. Okay, so here's the weapon class, I mean, interface completed. Quite a short interface. So now let's create a weapon. Um, let's raise it off the weapon we currently have right now. Finish it. And let's make it into a weapon by simply typing in implement weapon. And it's not gonna compile if we run it now, so all we need is to add unimplemented methods. Like so. Tick. If you're using Eclipse, this will be really easy. But. If you're not, I'm just going to type it along with you. Okay, first, most people would want an override annotation. An override annotation is simply um, something that you put above a method that you 
override that is reimplement from the superclass you can leave it out and it's gonna work but it is highly recommended to use it because if let's say I accidentally typed this wrong like at what three T's attack so without the override it would work fine but with the override it tells me that this is wrong this is not in the super class of weapon. So I can know that I probably spelled, spelled the method's name wrong. So, yeah. Now, tick. And. Render. Override. Okay. So this is a skeletal implementation implementation done. And in our basic shooter, we want a private player we want a player the player that's using the weapon because we want to the their position oh and before we do anything I just realized we need a object handler here import object handler and we also need player there too and import player and do the same here object handler and player and import them now I don't really want a constructor to do the assigning player, so let's just do a quick lazy initialization. If player equals null, that means if player isn't anything yet, then player equals p. This is a lazy initial. Initialization. Basically, an in lazy initialization is the for the first time we use this, the player has not been assigned yet, and it sometimes saves speed by a fraction. But right here, we just want convenience of not needing to create another constructor and making it hard to put it inside our player class later. So now we know that if player is null then it's gonna be initialized so we don't have to worry about the player now. So let's do what the player currently does and the code for shooting is actually inside our canvas. So just take all of this away and put it inside blaze uh, this shooter thing and the colored handler actually so this is the code for shooting and uh, What's more is that we can delete this bit of code and the code that made this special. And it seems that we don't 
We still need this handler, actually. So back in here, if we... All we need now is to put inside our player class. So where is the player class inside our game objects package? Then player. A private weapon. Import weapon. And weapon equals new W equals new basic basic shooter. And every time we tick, we also want the weapon to tick, w dot tick. And every time we, and also in our player class now we want a new method that allows our key input to access the weapon that will then use it to attack once we click the attack. Key, which happens to space in our game. So public void, I mean weapon get weapon return w And uh, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but it's probably wrong. Hmm. Okay, weapon actually has an A after the E. So I'll just rename that. Okay. So this works. And key input. We actually don't need these curly blaze braces anymore. Player dot get weapon dot attack handler and the player. So this is simple enough. Save it. I think we did the wrong import. And let's try it out. This is development. This is the wrong thing. Um, okay, so this is what we were doing. Wait, this is weird. Ugh. Everybody's smushed together. Like, this is strange and horrible at the same time. This is, like, not right. And you'd be correct, actually. They're all like all together, so every time they ch you just simply shoot a hundred bullets per second, and that's a lot of bullets. So let's shorten that time down. Private int time equals two hundred and frame we just need an integer like that so if frame is greater than time And you say, wait, so the frame should be null, right? Actually, every for primitives outside a method, if like a state primitive, they will automatically be 
set to an, a default value, and in the just case, it will be zero. So, if you really want that, we could really we could do that, but I prefer not to. Just makes me look smarter, even though I'm not that smarter. And also, we want frame to be equal to zero. Not farm. I'm not farming anything. Else, frame. Ants. So, let's try that now. Oh, this is so boring. This is not working. Mm, let's shorten that time down, like, to 50. That's still so slow. 10. That's good. But it feels like the player is moving a bit too slow. So let's speed game up, actually. Well, this should help. Okay, I really think our player is building slow. Player. I need to speed up the player. That's too fast. Okay, so set the player speed to 8. And voila! Now we can shoot them to death. And the bullets are a bit too slow actually. So let's change your speed too. Well, dude, that's too slow. It's almost as fast as... The player's almost as fast as bullets. Now... Okay, so this is good. I'll just close others. So, we've got our first weapon then. Now... To do, build a second weapon, first you must download a new game object from the annotation or the description below. Anyways, I need to copy that. And what is wrong? And with our type, just add a new one called bomb. Um, type dot bomb. Okay. What's wrong again? Oh. And put an H there. Okay, so we added, needed to add a type. I don't think I had types up there, but it works. Okay. So now what we need to do is once you get the bomb class downloaded, put it inside your game object package, which you can do like this. 
your digital workspace, your place, and your source code, com, alex, space shooter, game object, and you can simply like put it in there. But don't. It's much easier to copy all like copy the text and paste it into a new class. So yeah. Once you get a bomb <coughs> once you get a bomb object in mm, we will now begin to build a bomb dropper that will drop the bombs basically. <coughs> Not sure what's wrong in my throat. Bomb dropper. And add weapon. Hey, look, it does that automatically for us. Well, that's never bad. So, here it's slightly different. We want a private Boolean. Object handler H and if this dot H equals null, then this dot H equals H. Lazy initialization again. And we need the private Boolean. is drop thing. We want to do this because we don't really want to do something else. I guess we could have changed our other weapon like that, but let's just leave it like that for a moment. It's dropping and we need a private int time equals let's put it to a hundred and frame so the we will be actually dropping the bumps in a tick method and not in an attack method the reason is that we want to be able to like just just create a little recharge time and it's gonna be much longer than the recharge time of our bullets. So a short recharge time can be easily hidden because it's really short, but a long recharge time actually cannot be hidden that easily. So we don't hide it. We do the hard work. <coughs> that is, we need our own H. <coughs> so same thing as before, if frame is greater than time, I'm not sure why I always type in farm, I mean, it's not that I like farms, I don't like farms, this is weird, is dropping equals true? And frame equals zero. We won't actually be adding that up here. Um, so this is the code for the attack method. If you wonder why we did not increment the time, I mean the frame, that is because we would have to hold on to the space bar when we attack every time we cannot just tap on it we have to wait like a hundred frames in the game and that's not really desirable so in the tech method tech method frame dot wait what just happened 
frame dot or frame plus plus. I'm not sure what's wrong with typing today. And if is dropping then h dot dot add new bomb add player oh and also need our own player to private player 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 and if player equals no then player equals p so player don't get x minus and our bombs with an height will be 32 but let's just public that tick create a new method in our bomb because we want to be able to change the size without having to change code elsewhere static float get size return 32 so yeah this works and a bomb chopper bomb dot get size wow first player dot get x I uh, mean get with minus bomb to get size wait it's I yes it is plus bomb to get size divided by two I put these in brackets just to make the order of operations clear Okay, we can also copy this code we put in right here. Wait, why is there that there? So copy this. Oh yes, it's because we put order of operation there. And instead of putting x, put in putting y, and instead of with, then i. Wow, what just happened? And put that semicolon in the end. Okay, so once that is is dropping will equals false because we're not dropping it anymore. So now we need something to distinguish these two weapons from each other. Luckily, there's a way to do that. It's an enum. Weapon. What an A. Type. And weapon type, we will have a tab. Basic. Shooter. And. Bomber. So weapon now has to be an abstract class. Oh, wait, now we now need a public void return. Um, get type. Actually, a public weapon type, so that allows us to keep it up in the interface, and in our bomb dropper, and in our 
other thing that I think I closed out of. We must add that method and we return. Oops. Dot. Basic shooter. And bomb dropper. Same. Bomber. And so, in our player class, where's the player class? Where's the player class? Here it is. Let's create a new list. Private weapon list. A new array weapon debut list equals new well let's just initialize them all here and it's uh I forgot this an A there new basic shooter Bomb dropper. And that is equals to. So now we need to create a new method that will find the weapon. Public void set weapon. And let's say there's an A there. A there too. What's wrong? Oh well. Okay, let's rename that. And in the set met weapon, we want a web on type T for type. Import weapon type and for weapon and weapon and in that view list. This is C plus plus style. I don't want to do that. Um, if W dot gets type equals type dot well equals T then W equals T and we can break out of the loop. Wait equals no this dot w okay so now if so if it's a find it it does not do any difference so that's a pretty good method so let's use that method to assign it where is it okay Weapon to weapon weapon type dot basic shooter and it does not return anything. So it assigns it automatically because that's what it does. So that is it in the player class, basically. And in our what is it? Camp it class. If key F K 
k equals p event dot vk underscore one then we do not need these curly places player dot set weapon weapon dot woman type dot basic shooter let's copy that again copy paste but instead here we just put down two and it will be a bomber so you use the keys up there to switch between the different weapons there are and now let's run this game and it seems that we don't have the image so we must get the image what just happened why is everything firefox ah uh, never mind okay so you can download the image there and it's a random D there for some reason and now let's run it when you run it it doesn't seem that it works oh that is because we need also another image called explosion you can download all these images and the uh, annotation or the description and so once we run this hopefully oh oops okay seriously I need to run this come on work for me please thank you one press two we fail again. Okay, I'm not sure what's wrong. I'm just gonna pause the video and figure that out. Okay, I finally fixed the problem. It is um, that we can have no adding in that in this place, so that sort of fails everything. It turns out we do not need any of this. Or these actually. These are all P's. And so that is about it. If frame is greater than time, H should add new bomb. P dot get X plus P to get with minus bomb to get size. And the Y value will be P dot get Y plus P to get height minus bomb to get size. And H for the handler and I actually added a bit of code here just so we can be happier basically so yeah and the final class you will download it because it's sort of complex and it took me like three whole days to make it the other two it took me one day to make both so you can see it's slightly complicated because it includes um, APIs that I'm not familiar with. And in a player create a new method that returns a point 2D new point 2D dot float x and y and it is weapon with an A
Okay, what could it be? Weapon. Seriously? Okay, weapons don't have um an H, an E at the end. So rename it again. Continue. Refactor. Rename. And everywhere safe. So back in some sword. Um. It does not seem to. Oh, and sometimes you might want to build a dump method. He's actually there. So, the whole point of the dub method um, is actually simply to. What is not available? Seriously, I don't get anything here. Get type. Oh. So. Return. Weapon type dot. dot sword. And just create it and there, like so. We can now copy, oops, copy that and VK three sword. So that's pretty simple. And then the player. W dot dump and then before you change it the dump simply resets a bit the weapon oops okay is this right Oh, and our player class will also need another. We need a new sword. Simple sword and. Back and simple sword. He'll have to fail. Huh. Okay. If this dot P layer equals no this dot layer equals player. Add this little bit of code in there. If it is not not already in it, it's probably gonna be in it. But if it's not, just make sure. And so back in our player class, where is the player class? I can't find it. Okay, it's it's here, I think. Um, we can now use it finally. Whoops. If player not equals zero, I mean, no. <laughs> then if it is no, then don't even do any of this. Which actually can be served as equals null. 
return. Okay, so put that bit of code just so we don't fail everything. What is wrong with this? Simple sword. No one to exception. Though I made sure that player was not null. This is weird. Oh, it's maybe because line is null. Okay. Back in the constructor. Line equals new line two d dot double. Okay. So now once to run this, it should work. Oh, that doesn't draw it. Oh, that is because we didn't render our weapon inside our player class. So, okay, I think I am not really succeeding at doing any of this. W dot render. And now we can see the sword. So now we finally have a sword. Yay, it's a it's a glowing blue death sort of death. What? Was there anything in level one and two? Okay, maybe this sword's a bit too powerful. Okay, that should work. What is wrong? Um... Uh, oh. Just put a couple numbers in there, I guess. I'll explode them! Okay, you have access to better levels. Um... If you download them right now, these are just horrible. And so, this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching, sorry about the very horrible planning I did. Please subscribe, and if you have not already, that is. And thanks for watching.